hi guys welcome back to my channel you are here with yes i'm her um i do want to thank you all for all the likes comments, and subscribes that you have been showing my channel um today is day two of the inner child healing and today i will be covering ways to connect with your inner child so if you do enjoy this don't forget to like comment and subscribe as you always do and stay tuned so in this upcoming clip i will be introducing ways to write a letter to your inner child Acknowledging and interacting with your inner child is an extremely powerful way to connect with yourself. What would you say if you could spend a moment with your five-year-old self? What about your seven, 10, or 15-year-old self? We all have an inner little boy or girl, and as life quickly happened, we built up hard outer skins to survive it. It's important for us to take a time out to address our younger selves and show them the love they needed to mature and develop okay so in this next clip i'll be sharing the five steps to getting started on writing a letter to your inner child step one please find a quiet place where you feel safe and to be open and vulnerable step two please imagine yourself in the most beautiful place on earth what is the most beautiful place to you? Where is it? What does it feel like to be there? Please visualize it, feel into it, and connect to this place. Step three, please imagine yourself sitting somewhere in this beautiful place. And please imagine that your five-year-old self has now come to sit with you. Then, Connected to yourself at five years of age, please ask yourself as an adult what you would tell your younger self if given the chance. What did he or she need to know or hear at this age but was never told? If you could go back in time and encourage or affirm anything to your five-year-old self, what would you say? Step four. After taking some time to contemplate the questions above, please write a letter to your five-year-old self. Please begin with, dear, you will put your name, and please express everything that you would say to yourself as a five-year-old child if given the opportunity. Then, take a few slow, deep breaths and allow yourself to fully feel and experience whatever is true for you. Please notice any memories that arise from the past. Step five, repeat steps three and four while connecting with your 10 year old self, your 15 year old self and your 20 year old self. Please feel free to do this with any additional ages if you feel inspired to do so. Now in this next clip, I will be sharing with you on how to write a letter from your inner child. Step one, please find a quiet place where you feel safe to be open and vulnerable. Step two, please imagine yourself in the most beautiful place on earth. What is the most beautiful place to you? Where is it? What does it feel like to be there? Please visualize it Feel into it and connect to this place. Step three, please imagine yourself sitting somewhere in this beautiful place and please imagine that your five-year-old self has now come to sit with you. Then, connecting to yourself at five years of age, please ask your five-year-old self what he or she wants to tell you as the adult. What does he or she want you to know or hear right now in your life? What wisdom and healing does your five-year-old self need to encourage in you as an adult right now? Step four. After taking some time to contemplate the questions above, please write a letter from your five-year-old self addressed to your adult self. Please begin with, Dear your name and express everything that your five-year-old self wants you the adult to know hear and remember then take a few slow deep breaths and allow yourself to fully 
feel and experience whatever it is true to you. Please notice any situations or relationships that you are being guided to address in your time in your life right now. So next, you will go ahead and listen to the inner child meditation music that I created for you. You will find it above in the cart um, above this video. So you will go ahead and follow that after you write the letter to your inner child and also write the letter from your inner child. And so you will follow that meditation music right after. And this is um, sort of a bedtime or nap time meditation music. So go ahead and listen to that video as well. So next you want to go ahead and grab a childhood photo. It doesn't matter whichever photo you want to choose. Grab that photo of yourself and then journal on what it felt like to be that age. And whatever feeling you choose to journal on, that's up to you. But um, a couple examples would be anger. Anger. So you want to identify the feeling of the anger you felt. You want to explain the feeling of the anger you felt in that moment. Um, and how to make things easier. How it could have been easier for you at that moment. And if you want to address sadness, if you want to journal on sadness, you want to identify that feeling of being sad. You want to you want to explain how that feeling felt to you when you were sad and also how things could have been made easier for you in that moment. Fear, you also want to um, that is another example. You can use fear. You want to identify the feeling of being fearful or scared or afraid. You want to explain how that feeling felt to you in that moment, and also to and, and also journal how things could have been made easier in that moment. And then, lastly, you can journal um, if this relates to you any jealousy you felt. You want to identify that jealousy feeling you felt as a child, or um, you you want to identify that feeling and you and you want to express that feeling on what it felt like. You want to explain how that feeling felt to you and also journal um, what could have made things better in that moment of feeling jealous of whatever it was you was feeling jealous of in that moment. So next you will be writing a letter to your parents and you'll be speaking on all your truths, your feelings, your emotions. You will let it all out on a piece of paper. You will need to be totally free from distractions so you can gather your thoughts in your mind and, and and ground yourself and just take out take this time to really think about everything that you've been holding on to everything that's been buried buried within you any hurt any resentment pain whatever it is you want to write it all down write this letter to your parents it doesn't matter if your parents are here or um go in or in heaven you want to still write this letter because you're not going to give it to them. You you basically releasing it to them. You releasing it to you releasing it into the energy. So you want to go ahead and speak all your truths, your feelings, whatever it is that's been bothering you that's been bo bo bottled up within you. Because these type of feelings can block your can block um anything that's trying to happen for you. It can cause you to have negative mindsets, negative thoughts. Um, it could cause blockages. So you want to go ahead and release everything that you're feeling that you will want to tell your parents or you had a hard time telling your parents because of whatever reason. This is a time where you can let your parents know exactly, exactly how you feel. Write this letter, read it out loud, and and and. And, scream, and not scream, but just speak into the universe. Speak out loud that you are releasing this energy from you. Say that three times. I am now releasing this energy from me. I am now releasing this energy from me. I am now releasing this energy from me. Okay. Lastly, you will engage and play or any activity you truly loved as a child. That can be basketball, football, sports, jumping rope, cheerleading, hula hooping, dancing, anything that you can think of, creative writing, 
going to the beach, playing in the sand, playing at the park, playing in the snow, whatever it was that you love to do as a child, go ahead and think of those things, engage and play. Um, you can also do those things with your kids, or if you don't have any kids, you can do it with your, your small siblings or cousins or, you know, let your inner child know that it's okay to play. It's okay to be free. It's okay to be a child. It's okay to be loved and it's okay to be happy. The wound is not your fault. The healing is your responsibility. Your inner child work is essential. It's the essence of growth as a whole person. So caring for your inner child has a, pow a powerful and surprisingly quick result. Do it and the child heals. And don't forget to love your inner child. The little girl or little boy used to, you used to be, perhaps he or she lies within you, untucked and sleeping peacefully. Loving your inner child helps you remember your innocence. And recognize how much life loves you. Ask the inner child within you, what can I do for you today? Ask that inner child that question every single day. Okay? Never let your age extinguish your inner child. You are never too young. You are never too old to heal your inner child. To speak with your inner child. To connect with your inner child to revisit your inner child, to awaken your inner child, okay? The inner child is the journey to self-healing. We are never done healing until we first start to heal our inner child. Let your inner child know, hello, inner child. I'm the inner babysitter. <laughs> Let your inner child know you're the inner babysitter. Laugh with your inner child. Make your inner child feel comfortable enough to come out and feel safe and loved and cherished. Okay? We don't stop playing because we grow. We grow old because we stop playing. Okay? Remember that. Always bring out your inner child. Be young at heart and always... And always live your life in a beautiful light. Once you really get in tune with your inner child and, and heal your inner child, so many things and so many doors and, and so many things going to start happening to you. Your life is going to, your life is going to change dramatically. In this moment right now, I am healing my inner child as well. I'm healing my inner child. So we, in, we are in this together. We're doing this together. I am embracing my inner child. Every day when I wake up, I let my inner child know I love you. I'm going to take care of you. I'm here for you. You are doing everything you can possibly do. I'm letting my inner child know that every day I'm getting better and better. I'm growing up, inner child. We're getting better and better every day. I'm acknowledging the hurt that my inner child has. I'm letting my inner child know that it's okay to be, it's okay. She's safe now. She is valuable. She is valued. I'm letting her know she is loved. I am letting my inner child know I am so proud of her. I am so proud of how strong she was with, 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 with the little bit that she had. I'm allowing my inner child to express her emotions, to express her feelings. To speak her mind and not be silent and mute. I remember as a child, I was so quiet. I was so, so quiet. 
I, I really didn't speak a lot. I just observed everything. I, I just observed every single thing. But now I'm letting my inner child know it's okay to speak. It's okay to be, it's okay to speak and also be observant. And I'm happy to report that my inner child is still ageless. I, I'm, I'm still silly. Like, I, I've, even though I was quiet and mute, I was still fun. I was a fun, I was a fun kid when I was around fun energy. And as an adult, I have a fun energy. Little kids love me. They, all my nieces and nephews and even other people's kids, they, gradu- they, they gravitate to me. They always smiling at me, waving at me. And it's, and, and it's just a reminder to me that my inner, my inner child is happy. My inner child is starting to, is starting to um, understand that she is safe. I have her back. I have her. I'm proud of her. My inner child is the most strongest kid I ever known. The most strongest kid I ever known. And she develops herself so well. She just she's just phenomenal. I let my inner child know how phenomenal she are, how proud of her I am. I remember her. I remember my inner child. I remember her sad times, her happy times, her alone times, the anger she had, the sadness she felt. I remember. But I also also remember that I knew that I wasn't alone. For some strange reason, my inner child and my when I was a child, I knew that I was not alone. I just felt it. I knew when I was a child that I had a special gift, but I just didn't know what it was. That's why today I'm just so proud of my inner child that she had the courage to be strong and keep going and keep growing and just secure herself in a safe place. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. I'm proud of you, inner child. So all I want to say is, hold the hand of the child that lives in your soul. For this child, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Let your inner child know you can do whatever it is that you want to do. You want to be a scientist, you can be a scientist. You want to be a doctor, you can be a doctor. You want to be a teacher, you can be a teacher. You want to be an entrepreneur, you can be an entrepreneur. Let the inner child know you can be whoever you choose to be. Whoever your heart desire. Whatever your heart desire. Let your inner child know it is okay and it's safe to dream. It's safe to dream. No one is going to take it away from you. Let your inner child know that he or she is safe now. He or she is safe now. Hold your inner child. Hug your inner child. Let your inner child know it is okay to be creative. It's okay to express who you are. It's okay to be different. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be happy and have emotions. Let your inner child know it's okay. It's safe. See the world through the eyes of your inner child. The eyes that sparkle in awe and amazement as they see love, magic, and mystery in the most ordinary things. Healing your inner child allows your inner child's light, strength, energy, and joy to return into your present life. 
Thank you so much.